let's say that we wanted to interconnect these five different WAN locations. One way of doing that would be having a hub and spoke topology. We could have the HQ site, and the HQ site could have a direct link to every other site. That's a hub and spoke topology. However, we realize that some of the other sites, maybe we have site A and B and C and D, these other sites, they also have a need to communicate between themselves. For example, let's say that A is the research and development site. D is the engineering site. They communicate frequently. Let's say that B is human resources. Maybe C is payroll. They communicate frequently. Now, there's not much communication between HR and engineering. They probably don't need a link. So I don't think we need a full mesh. A full mesh gives us optimal pathing, but it can be expensive. What we can do instead is a compromise. We can compromise between hub and spoke at one end of the spectrum and a full mesh at the other end of the spectrum. What we can do is strategically add links to a basic hub and spoke topology. Because there is frequent communication between A and D, let's add a link. That way we don't have to go from A to HQ back to D. There's frequent communication between B and C. Let's add a link. That way we don't have to go from B to HQ down to C. Now notice, at this point we have one, two, three, four, five, six links. We've got more than the four that would be required for a hub and spoke topology, but we've got far less than the 10 that would be required for a full mesh. What we've done is created a partial mesh. A partial mesh is a subset of a full mesh where we have strategically placed links where they're most needed. Based on traffic patterns, we've justified, let's add a link here and here and here, but we don't need a link here and here and here. So kind of between a hub and spoke and a full mesh, we could have a strategically designed partial mesh.